Roll4Crit.com presents How to Play Hive in 5 Minutes or Less or More. Hive is the two-player game of strategic bug battling designed by John Yanni and published by Gen42 Games. The standard edition features color pieces, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be showcasing the black and white majesty of Hive Carbon because it's classier. In a game of Hive, each player has an identical set of bug pieces in their own color. The most important piece is the Queen Bee. If either player's Queen Bee becomes completely surrounded by other bug pieces of either color, they lose and their opponent wins. On your turn, you will typically have the choice to do one of two things before passing it back to the other player. A. Place one of your bug tiles somewhere into the center play area, known as the hive, or B. Move one of your bug tiles already in the center play area according to their special movement rules. As far as placement's concerned, you can place a tile anywhere you want to in the hive as long as it's adjacent to a piece of your color and not adjacent to a piece of your opponent's color. The only exception to this rule is each player's opening move because you won't have any other choice. Now, somewhere within your first four turns, you must place your queen bee in the hive. And until you have done that, you cannot move any of your tiles in play. You can only place new ones. Once your queen bee is out by your fourth turn, you're free to move bug pieces in addition to placing them. Each bug moves differently, and I'm going to go over them all quickly. The queen bee is a graceful lady, and as such, she can only move one space per turn along the edges of the hive, like so. Remember, if she gets surrounded, it's game over. The spider has more legs than the bee, and so upon activation, moves exactly three spaces in one direction around the hive. The soldier ant is a tougher fella and can move as many spaces as it wants in either direction. The grasshopper, rather than moving around the sides of the hive, actually hops straight across directly to the opposite side from wherever it started from. The beetle can only move one space per turn, like your queen bee, but it can also move on top of other pieces. If it does this, the piece underneath it cannot be moved until the beetle is gone, and while there, that stack is considered to be whatever color the beetle is, allowing for new placement possibilities. And yes, a second beetle can move on top of that first beetle, etc., potentially causing a crazy Yurtle the Turtle type scenario. If you're playing with Hive Carbon or some of the expansions, you may also find yourself using pieces like the Ladybug, which moves exactly three spaces, the first two of which must be on top of the Hive, a la the Beetle, with the final one bringing it back down to Earth again. Or the Mosquito, which copies the ability of one of the pieces adjacent to it and uses their movement rules as its own for that turn. Note that if your Mosquito copies the Beetle, it keeps the Beetle movement rules until it returns to the ground. If moving one of your bugs would create a gap in the hive, then that move is illegal, and your bug is stuck there until the situation changes. If a piece can't fit into a space naturally, then that's not a legal move either, and likewise, pieces can't exit spaces that they don't fit out of without moving other pieces, unless they have special movement rules, as in the beetle, ladybug, or grasshopper. If you're unable to place any pieces, then you pass, and play continues until your next turn. Once one player's queen bee is completely surrounded, they lose and the game is over. In conclusion, place, move, crawl, skitter, and buzz your way to creepy crawly victory. That's Hive in a nutshell. Did you get all that?